uh, if that had an interesting start, I was at the World Bank and had taken a year off from the World Bank to go to the World Bank Institute. I had been in the independent evaluation group and was going to return back to that group. And there was some question over where I would go and what I would do. And one of the things that Bob Picciotto, who was then a controller a general, director general of evaluation for the whole World Bank, said, uh, well, Linda, you know, what would you like to do? And I said, uh, Bob, you've always talked about the need for a world-class program in development evaluation. And I'd like to try to develop that. And he said, fine, great, excellent, but we can't be supply driven. We have to show that there's demand. So I got some money for a consultant and we uh, did a broad survey. And at that time, we're talking uh, 1999 when we did that survey. Um, there were some master degree programs, a few, and there was a lot of one-off trainings, but there was no short-term training that we found other than the East Anglia uh, training, which was, I think, a, a four or a six-week program. And we want it to be shorter than that. So we also asked people at that time about what they felt they needed. And uh, the demand was just overwhelming for a, a course in sort of the basics that covered the basics of evaluation. Uh, at about the time we were reporting the results of that survey, Ray Rist uh, joined us. And together, we developed the format for IPDET uh, of the, at that time, two weeks for the core and two weeks for workshops. And we found a host institution for the program. And that was the start of IPDET. Uh, there have been uh, so many highlights. Uh, I think uh, one that uh, I, I won't forget was uh, Michael Patton, uh, feeling that uh, the book which we published, The Road to Results, uh, Designing and Conducting Effective Development Evaluations, was a landmark. It was the first full text on development evaluation, and he felt it should be celebrated. And he threw us a party with all the IPDET uh, participants in attendance to celebrate uh, the book launch complete with a little Prosecco. It was uh, quite a moment. We also were given a surprise uh, 10th birthday celebration of IPDET. And it was a achievement to really stop and treasure because the program had always been quite vulnerable and more vulnerable in some years than other years. And uh, that we had survived 10 years was a major accomplishment. But of the things I'm most proud of uh, over these years, I think is to see so many of the graduates go on to be now the foremost proponents of evaluation. I think of Indra Naidu, I, I think of, of um, Rashmi Agarwal, I um, uh, think of our own Janet uh, uh, Salvador. They're all leaders of evaluation, and that makes me very proud to feel that IPDET has contributed to that. The, survey in 1999, if we were to conduct that survey again today, we would have a totally different picture. Uh, there is um, a growth. I think in 1999, there were perhaps 19 evaluation associations at the global, regional, and national levels. Right? Now we're up to, I think the latest count was 154. Now those aren't all necessarily active. It's, it's easier to start them than to continue and maintain and grow them. You know, that is a challenge. But that's 
speaks volumes for the growth of development evaluation and the growth of evaluation capacity. I think that we are uh, nearing a situation where we, ha what we had as a goal in the Paris Declaration years and years ago, that there would be enough capacity in each country that we wouldn't need so many expats, so many outside people coming to do the evaluations, but that the countries would have the capacity to do them themselves. And I think we're at the point where certainly in almost all countries, we have evaluation experts. And uh, that's a, a hugely changed world. You know, we were proud when we had, we started off with North to South help, we had a few cases we celebrated of south to north assistance, but now we have south-south. And it's just a phenomenal achievement in really a short time. I, I believe very, very strongly that evaluation, particularly uh, development evaluation, but all evaluation needs to professionalize. I think that we've uh, um, gone a long ways. We have evaluation societies. Um, many of them have developed competencies uh, for their membership, but they're different. Um, and I did an analysis, I think at the dimension level, not all the things that come under each dimension, but at the dimension level, it might be possible to get agreement on a set of dimensions under which uh, uh, each country might individualize the skills or aptitudes or attitudes that are, that are needed. But I think the uh, time has come when not anyone can call themselves an evaluator and go out and produce some kind of evaluation, and it may or may not be of particularly good quality. I think more professionalism in the field is in our future.